Hi everyone, it's Zahir Brayman here, Sigma BI. I'm going to show you how to connect to a PDF file. Come check it out. So, first of all, we're going to start off with a data source. So, we're going to go on to the WHO website uh, and we are going to go to the report, the latest report um, for the cor coronavirus. So, as you can see, this is a PDF. So, what we're going to do is Copy that, copy the link. I'm going to go into Power BI. I'm going to go get data. As soon as that pops up. Okay, so obviously because we're doing a PDF, we're going to go to PDF, but those are in the know, we've just got it off a, off a website. So we really want to go into the web and do it like that but let's 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 try it from from the pdf so what we're going to do is click pdf and press connect and then we're, what we're going to do is at the bottom here the file name we're just going to paste that url into there we're going to click open And we're going to see it's brought it up. So if you just have a look, we've got it in. So let's just click on that and we're going to go to the transform data. Okay, so here is the table now and we're thinking, right, okay, that's it done. Job done. It is, but it isn't. See, the problem with that you're going to have now is where if you wanted to refresh that data, it's not going to do it. And the reason why that is, is because if you take a look at the source, and you go to the file name here, it's got the web content contents on here. And you know we haven't got it from there. We've got it from the web. So what we need to do is we need to just change uh, a, a couple of pieces of information in this. So the first of all, what you need to do is on the first line where it says file.content, we need to change the file to web. Make sure uh, you type in web with a capital W, that's is case sensitive. And then everything in between These speech marks need to be changed to the URL that we typed in. So if we control and paste, and then what we're going to do is we're going to delete the end up until PDF. So the last bit that should be on this URL is the PDF. Press enter. And that's it, your source is done. So we've just brought a PDF from the web into Power BI, where we now can refresh that data once that information comes through. Hope you found, found this useful. Like and subscribe, we'll be doing more of these at home with Power BI. With me, Zahir Brayman. Like and subscribe now to get all the latest information on the new videos.